Tonight we are here with uh, Jackie Bowling, the uh, sideline reporter for the uh, PBA Extra Frame. Hello. So, uh, Jackie, what, what is your real name and how did you come up with Jackie Bowling? My real name is Jacqueline Marankovic and I'm from just outside of Detroit, Michigan. And uh, the whole Jackie Bowling concept is kind of a long story. I don't know if you guys want to hear the, uh, the length of it, but um, World Series of Bowling was uh, first in Detroit. So what I did was a um, huge bowling fan since I was a little girl. And I went out there to bowl pro -Am because I'd never met a pro bowler before. So I got to do that and I was um, invited to come and watch World Championship qualifying. And I did. And I was just hooked from that point on. I tried to go to um, as many tour stops as I could that season, and I just kept showing up. And PBA Extra Frame was like, "Who is this person? You know, what, what is, what's all, what is she all about? You know, where is she from?" And uh, throughout the summer, uh, then I made friends with them. Uh, throughout the summer, I just kept up with every tour stop, um, regional, senior stop, and finally, um, after social networking so much. They were like, hey, we're, we're in Jackson, Jackson, Michigan. You should come out and watch the senior tour. Came out, talked uh, with them on uh, Extra Frame, and next thing you know, they had me interviewing Wayne Wett. And I had never been a reporter or done anything uh, via camera. You can definitely tell with my first interview. And uh, from that point on, they uh, had me sponsored by Powerhouse. And here I am. There you go. So it was kind of a weird story. It wasn't something where I had to apply and I went through all the schooling and everything. I was just, they were looking for a female presence that um, that was a fan, not a professional analyst or reporter to, um, to give you the exact news. They wanted like a fan saying, hey, this is what's going on and this is why it's so exciting. So they picked me. I don't know why, but they picked me. <laughs> so uh, what do you, have you gone to college? Do you have a degree? Uh, what do you do? Are you planning to go to school? If not, um, I wasn't the best student in high school or college. I um, I went to a community college hoping to be um, an art teacher. So I went through like the first couple years, and uh, then I gave up. I just it, the school's just not my thing. I never really excelled in it. It was more of, like the social butterfly club, and. Um, so I never got to finish my degree, I never became a teacher, and then I kind of lost that, um, that passion to become a teacher, so I took a couple years off, here I am now, and I've, more so in this last two years I've really thought about going back to school. Um, what's that? For communication. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I'd like to go, there's a, there's a school in Michigan called Specs Howard, and I thought about maybe doing that. Um, but. I'm not uh, really in a spot. Maybe, maybe online-wise, I could do college, right? Go, at least go back. But right now, like my schedule's so crazy, um, I haven't really taken taken into thought going back to school. But. So, what is your schedule after uh, after Sunday? Everything wraps up. Uh. Yeah. What what kind of happens is there's a break, and um, unless I have to go to Ebonite Corporate for anything that they need me for, you really won't see us back out until we go to Fountain Valley in, uh, yeah, like mid-January. So things will slow down. When I'm at home, I work like at a, like at a bar and grill every, every once in a while when I am home to pick up shifts. Um, they're just family friends, so they're really uh, good with my schedule and they support what I do. So um, other than that, I mean, I'm bowling league or bowling tournaments when I can. So my schedule's pretty busy um, at home when I'm not on the road. What kind of average bowler are you? Not that great, but um, uh, I think your book's like 182-ish. Right now I'm like 186, so um, I'm working on getting over that 200 mark, but it's hard when you're you out start here. start making the guys coach you when they have practice sessions. <laughs> and I do. I actually, Rick Benoit's behind me. I, I, the other day I was practicing, he walked by and he goes, hey, try this. It did. It worked. It's good. But I usually work with some of the people out here, but you have to, um, you can't take everyone's advice. It's, oh. it's hard. You, you fry out. And that's what happened to me last year. I almost wanted to quit and just do what I do out here and not bowl. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great getting to know all these people and doing what I can. But, yes, I, I'd like to get over the 200 home. It's just making more 10 pins. <laughs> what is your uh, preferred ball? What's your, fav what's your favorite ball? My favorite ball right now or my favorite brand? Both. 
Um, well, I've, ever since I was 17, um, I've always sewn the Ebonite International brand, which actually works out for me because Powerhouse Bowling is an Ebonite product. So now that I'm contracted with Powerhouse, um, I'm kind of contracted to only throw Ebonite International things, which out of the four brands, I've always um, favored Hammer. But recently I've been throwing a lot of Columbia 300 and uh, a little bit of Ebonite. So, so uh, what is something that you want your fans, now that you've got a fan base, What's something you want your fans to know about you that you don't get to convey when you're giving interviews? I mean, I think I think my fans obviously know I'm a fan, but my my message to everybody is unfortunately people look at somebody and say, "Well, she's not a bowler. She doesn't know anything." Da 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 da. Just because of maybe just looking and saying, "Oh yeah, she's just some girl that's reporting." But I think what I want people to know, and, and even my fans, that I am a true bowler, and I'm a true fan of all the bowlers and the sport of bowling, and I support it, and I want it to stay alive. And I don't know if people know that, um, but that's my main my main purpose. I think the whole reason why I'm Jackie Bowling is because I'm this huge fan that just wants to embrace everything out on the road and and, and take these players like you know. And just, I don't know. Just I Now just that you travel there. so much with the guys, how do you feel about the tour or lifestyle? You know, like, is it difficult even, I mean, even though you're not bowling, you're still spending the same amount of hours and stuff they are in the bowling center. It's, it's awesome. I, I don't know how else to say it. I mean, this is like a dream, you know, traveling with all these guys. Um, every single one of these guys, I don't have a similar relationship with. Like everyone is special in their own way and they're unique in their own way and um, it's just really cool to see how, how they are, um, how they react after a shot, how they are when they're done bowling, how they are right before they're bowling. Everyone's different and I just like, um, I, th I mean things have changed now that I am on tour, you know, just l learning about these people. but. It's, it's all been great. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain, like, how cool it is to be on the road, um, being in this environment day to day, the grind. Um, you really get to know these people on a personal level, and it's just super cool, super cool to watch people who I've been watching on TV for all this time, and now I can say they're personally my friends, and, and they're real people. Well, all right, Jackie, we appreciate your time. I hope that was good. I don't and, know. Uh, that was awesome. I didn't know where to look in the camera. So <laughs> oh, okay. I'm doing my own thing. Well, but. thank you. And good yeah. luck the rest of the way. Thank you.